Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add and subtract numbers. So let's start with 3 minus 6. We're going to create a number line. So we start at 3. When we minus 6, it means we move to the left 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here is 3, then we have 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So the final answer will just be negative 3. How about 7 minus 12? We draw a number line and we start at 7. Since we minus 12, we are moving this way 12 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So 7, then we have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1. Negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. So the final answer will be negative 5. How about 14 minus 15? Well, you can do the number line method, and you will notice that this will take a while. So you move this way 15 times. But let me show you a faster way. All you have to do is factor out negative 1, factor out minus 1. And what you're going to do is you just flip the sign. So this is positive 14 becomes negative 14. Negative 15 becomes positive 15. This is negative 1 times negative 14 plus 15 is the same as 15 minus 14. And 15 minus 14 will give you 1. And negative 1 times 1 gives you negative 1. So those are two different ways to do it. You can use whichever way you prefer. 20 minus 31. You can use the first way or the second way. I will use the second way since it's faster. So you factor out negative 1 and you flip the sign. So positive 20 becomes negative 20. And negative 31 becomes positive 31. This is equal to negative 1 times negative 20 plus 31 is the same as 31 minus 20. This is equal to negative 1 times 11. And whenever you multiply a positive number with minus 1, that's just going to give you negative 11. So this is the final answer. We have negative 7 minus 4. So let's use a number line this time. We start at negative 7. We move to the left 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, negative 11. So the answer will be negative 11. Let's try negative 1 minus 9 using the second method. We factor out negative 1 and we flip the signs. So negative 1 becomes positive 1. Negative 9 becomes positive 9. So this gives us 1 plus 9, which is 10. And negative 1 times 10 will give you negative 10. Let's try negative 5 plus 8 using the line method. We start at negative 5, but this time we plus 8, not minus 8. So when you plus a number, you move to the right 8 times. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is negative 5. We have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And so the answer will simply be 3. How about negative 14 plus 1 using the line method? We draw our line. We start at negative 14. Then we move to the right one time. This will give us negative 13. Let's try this problem again using the second method. So we factor out negative 1. We get negative 14 becomes positive 14. Positive 1 becomes negative 1. This is equal to negative 1 times 14 minus 1 is 13. And negative 1 times 13 gives you negative 13. Now, let me ask you a question. What is negative 1 plus 14? So go ahead and try it. 
Now, notice that we can rewrite this as 14 minus 1. And 14 minus 1 will just give you positive 13. What is negative 20 plus 6 using the number line? We put negative 20 and then we move to the right 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 20, we have negative 19, negative 18, negative 17, negative 16, negative 15, and negative 14. So the answer is negative 14. What is negative 8 minus 2 using the number line? So we draw the number line, we start at negative 8. Which direction are we moving? Do we move to the right or to the left? Well, it's minus, so we move to the left two times. One, two. So we have negative 8 over here is negative 9, then negative 10. So the answer is negative 10. What is negative 4 plus negative 3? So when you see plus a negative number, it just means minus. So this is the same as negative 4 minus 3. We can use the number line. We start at negative 4. Then we move left three times. 1, 2, 3. Here we have negative 5, negative 6, and negative 7. So the answer would be negative 7. What is 6 plus negative 3? Well, it's a plus negative number, right? So this will be the same as 6 minus 3, which is simply 3. How about negative 9 plus negative 3? We have negative 9 minus 3. We move to the left three times. 1, 2, 3. So negative 9, this is negative 10, negative 11, negative 12. So the answer is negative 12. Negative 1 plus negative 19 is the same as negative 1 minus 19. So go ahead and try using the number line, but let's try using the faster method. So we factor out negative 1, then we basically flip the sign. So negative 1 becomes positive 1, negative 19 becomes positive 19. We have negative 1 times 1 plus 19 gives you 20, and negative 1 times 20 is simply negative 20. What if you minus a negative number? Well, when you minus a negative number, it becomes a plus sign. So this becomes 4 plus 2. And 4 plus 2 is 6. Negative 9 minus negative 1 is the same as negative 9 plus 1. So we draw a number line. We have negative 9, and since it's a plus sign, we move to the right one time. So negative 9, and this is negative 8. So the answer is negative 8. Negative 10 minus negative 3 is equal to negative 10 plus 3. We start at negative 10, and we move to the right three times. 1, 2, 3. This is negative 10, this is negative 9, negative 8, negative 7. So the answer is negative 7. 8 minus negative 11 is equal to 8 plus 11. And 8 plus 11 is 19. Let's do one last example. Negative 3 minus negative 16. That's the same as negative 3 plus 16. So negative 3 plus 16 is the same as 16 minus 3. And that's basically 13. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to share and subscribe. See you in the next video.